Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson, and welcome to my Bad Hippie YouTube. More importantly than that, welcome to my very first ever Bad Hippie YouTube video. This is the first one. This is the one that's going to start everything, whether that everything turns into something fantastic and wonderful and great and glorious, or whether it's total shit. We don't know yet, but this is the one that's going to start it all. All right, we're going to be starting out with a Let's Play walkthrough, and we're going to be doing Unturned. Now, the reason we're doing Unturned is actually there's a couple of reasons we're doing Unturned. Uh, reason number one is that I have a piece of shit computer. I am still running Windows 7 on a 32-bit system, so I am incredibly limited as to some of the games I can play, although I will admit that Steam is, is really good about having uh, a, a fairly decent selection of games that will still run on low-end computers, and Unturned is one of the best. The second reason I'm doing Unturned is because, well, it's a very popular game. It's got a really, really big community. It's fun as hell to play. It's it's a really good, good game. And with the exception of the Russia map, because I can't run large maps, it crashes out the program. Once again, piece of shit computer. Um, it runs really well on my computer. So uh, we're going to be doing that. And uh, let's go ahead and reset the world. And the third reason I'm doing Unturned is because it's almost Halloween. Today is Friday. Halloween is this weekend. Um, and so what better way to start off my brand new YouTube, YouTube than on the Halloween weekend with a zombie game. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Let's go into the advanced real quick. And we're going to restore the defaults. And then I think the only thing I'm going to change in the defaults for right now, because quite honestly, I pretty much suck at video games. I'm going to increase the chance of crawlers, and I think I'm going to increase the chance of running into burners as well. So actually, let's not have that many crawlers, because I said I suck at video games, and I was not even kidding. I love, ooh, excuse me. I love video games. I've been playing since I was a kid. The first system I ever had was, was an Atari 2600, and we had Pac-Man and Space Invaders, and it was glorious, and it was fabulous, and I love the living hell out of it, but I've never been good at video games. I love them, but I'm not good at them, so just get used to when I play, I don't play to see the amount of challenge that I can get out of it. I play to have fun. So quite often I play on the wuss mode. When I was playing Wolfenstein The New Order, I actually played on Please Daddy Don't Hurt Me, and I still got killed on a regular basis. So that should tell you something. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a second here because if I try to load in this map at the same time that the, the capture is running, it is going to screw things up. So be right back. All right, now we're all loaded in. We're on the PEI map, the Prince Edward Islands, and I think I know where I am. There's the there's the lighthouse. That's actually a pretty good place to start. I'm over across the bay from the lighthouse, but up by the airport. Now, yeah, that that's right. The airport. I can pick up good weapons at the airport. Um, although it might be a little bit dangerous, but I think I'm going to go there anyways. Not a bad place to start, and uh, let me just go back to the map real quick. And the way I think I'm going to do this, and starting at the airport is actually a really, really good thing. Because the way I want to do this is, on this map, I have played the PEI map before. It's the only one I've played all the way through, and actually been through every section of the map. Um, I w I'm going to play this a little different than a lot of the other walkthroughs I've seen on YouTube, you know, where they do all the crafting of the buildings and the fortresses, and they, they grow plants, and they, they make storage boxes, and they set up forts, and blah, blah, blah. I think what I'm going to do instead is go at it with the attitude of, like, a wandering, a wandering nomadic kind of character. Some really horrible stuff has gone down. The zombie apocalypse has taken over the world. Everything that he's ever loved is now gone. So it's it's going to be kind of like a a Joel character from The Last of Us. Only he doesn't have Tess or Ellie. He's just got himself. Everything is gone. 
So it's going to be this this point A to point B wandering kind of lost soul dude who's just looking for a place. And so what we'll do is is we'll just collect up the things that we can carry on our person that we need to survive and then we'll go through the PEI map like that and then we'll do Washington and then we'll do the Yukon and after we get done with those walkthroughs then we'll see where it goes from there and I'll probably get in and do some other kinds of stuff you know and then I'm going to do other videos as well depending on what I can get to run on this system um, I'm also planning on doing some um, tutorials I like building video games although I haven't released anything in any of the newer engines um, I do have two top-down shooters that are sprite based that were released uh, briefly on the yo-yo game sandbox before that thing got shut down and they they opened up the uh, yo-yo games player so the games that I had on the sandbox are no longer available much to pity because I enjoyed them okay what do we got here all right let's see I think I want to avoid the hell out of that walker I can get up behind this guy and punch him in the back of the head Maybe he'll drop something good. Nope, tape. I don't need tape. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I've got two games that I released on the Yo-Yo Game Sandbox. And I will, I haven't got my website set up yet, but as soon as I get my website set up, I will, I will have those games available. They will be free to download and free to play. Um, they were built using Game Maker 8.1 Lite, um, and and I kind of like them. When they were on the sandbox, they got some fairly decent reviews. They were averaging uh, three and a quarter to four stars out of five. They got some nice comments. Um, they never really got overly popular, but you know, not a whole lot of things on the Yo-Yo Game Sandbox did get overly popular. Um, with with a few things you know the crime life was pretty good and I think I want to stealth around this backside here and uh, I am going to try to keep my webcam overlay going um, but because of my system and the limitations on it it might not be a feasible thing so if the next couple of videos pop up with no webcam overlay that's why but I'm going to try to run the webcam overlay because you know why not Okay, let's see what we got in here. And then as we go through this little... Okay, I'll take that civilian vest. That's going to be a little extra storage. As we go through this little area here... Hopefully that burner won't see me. Because I need weapons to take him out or he's going to explode on me. Um, and as we play through, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about myself and why I decided to do a YouTube because uh, looking at me, you can probably tell that I am not a spring chicken anymore. Um, I'm not nearly as young as I used to be. Um, I actually, my, my 49th birthday will be on November the 19th. And, you know, you might be asking, well, why would a 49-year-old guy decide to start a YouTube? Um, well, there, there's a few reasons, and quite honestly, I, I sat down this morning, and I spent like two and a half, almost three hours, trying to get an introduction video made, until I finally just said, you know what, screw it. Because part of the appeal of Let's Play and game walkthroughs on YouTube, at least part of the appeal of it to me, <coughs> um is the fact that 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 you're able to do the commentary that you're able to talk over the video that you're able to tell stories and share life experiences and and things of that nature while you play so there's really no need for me to do an introduction video and try to explain who I am and what I am and why I am uh, in a completely separate video when I can do that while I'm playing the game and so that's the way I'm gonna go at it I'm gonna I'm gonna play the game and I'm just gonna talk while I'm playing and tell you a little bit about me and why I'm doing this so um, yeah I'm, I'm 49 years old I'm almost 49 I'll be 49 on November the 19th and I have two grown kids. Uh, my daughter graduated high school last spring and she just started college this fall. My son 
will be graduating high school this coming spring and he has already enlisted in the army so about a month after he gets out of school he's going to be heading to Fort Benning for training and I am going to find myself in a position that I haven't been in in close to 20 years and that that is that I'm going to be alone and I'm not used to that. My kids have grown, they're out of the house, they're doing their own thing, and I'm gonna be alone. And and I'm gonna need to find something to start occupying all that time that I've spent trying to be a dad and being, you know, what my kids need me to be. And I'm really not sure how I'm gonna go about doing that. Um, but I'm going to do the best I can. And so one of the reasons I'm doing this is I'm hoping that this YouTube channel... Ooh, there's a cobra. I'm hoping that this YouTube channel is going to help me um, to occupy my time and give me something to do and help me take my mind off the fact that my kids aren't here on a regular basis anymore. So it's kind of a... A self therapy for me. The other reason is that I am a um, I'm a veteran. I served in the United States Army from 1985 to 1989. I was a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout, and right now my only source of income is um, VA disability. And I honestly, it's it's really rough. It's it's really rough, especially trying to trying to raise a, a boy by myself, uh, a 17-year-old son, and my only income is VA disability, and I'm on Medicaid, and all that kind of good stuff, and I just, I don't want things to be like that forever. And uh, so, hopefully, I'm not looking to get rich, I'm not looking to get famous, I mean, yeah, it would be cool if it happened, and I'm not stupid enough to bitch about it if it does, but that's not the goal. The goal is actually just to the goal is actually just to find a way to make a semi-comfortable living doing something that I love doing and that, 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 that's it. I've, I've always been a very creative kind of person I love art and music and video games and pretty much anything creative. And, ah, ah, get away, get away, get away, get away, you evil bastards. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, holy crap, that was close. Oh man. Whoo! Damn. I shouldn't have opened up on them that soon. Holy shit. I should have killed a few more stealthily before I went and did that crap. That almost got me fried. Damn. Okay. What was I saying? Uh, uh, besides, oh shit. Uh. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, and. I just really, I just would like to be able to make a semi-comfortable living doing something that I love doing. And I have always, um, I've always been creative. I've always loved creative things. I've always loved art and music and anything creative, but I've never had the ability to focus on just one thing, you know? Let's see, and let's replace that. How much is that civilian vest? Let's see if that police vest has got more than the civilian vest. Yes, it does, by quite a bit. And I can drop that. And I don't think the police pants are gonna have more room than the trouser pants. Actually, it looks like they do. So I'm going to keep those. And let's go ahead and craft this down. 
And so, yeah, I'm not looking to get rich or famous or, you know, anything like that. I'm, I'm not dumb enough to bitch about it if I do, but that's not the intent. Um, the intent is just to, to, to finally be able to make a semi-decent living doing something that I love doing. And I love creativity. And since I've never been able to focus because of my ADD, I've never been able to focus on one thing well enough to make a living off of it. Uh, for instance, music, art, um, as much of the things as I love to do, I've never been able to just keep my focus on one thing well enough to actually turn it into a living. Get over there. Get over there. Um, which, which is okay, you know, um, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do when you got to do it. That's just the way life works. Um, you live, you learn, or you don't live long. That's just all there is to it. And I'm okay with that. But now with the, with the onset of the internet and social media and things like YouTube, I have an opportunity that I've never before had in my life because I've always known people who were, uh, they were focused and or they just loved one thing more than they loved anything else and and that's great for them that's absolutely great for them and uh, I'm actually a little bit jealous of them to a degree um, but I've never been able to do that so let's go ahead and unload that and which one did I just unload this one yeah that's the one I just unloaded okay um, I've never been able to do that so um, but I've always loved art and I've always loved music and I've always loved absolutely anything creative so where some people are exceptional at one thing I've never been exceptional at anything I've always been pretty damn good at a lot of things but never exceptional at one thing and with the advent of things like YouTube that kind of social media that gives people like me an opportunity to finally be exceptional at something and what might you ask are you exceptional at diversity and with things like YouTube that gives me the opportunity and people like me the opportunity to shine in a way we've never been able to shine before to show that yeah I do have something genuine to offer and and I'm really looking forward to that I'm really looking forward to just finally being able to to, to stretch my wings and fly a little bit uh, it's 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 something I've never really been able to do and it but it's something I've always wanted to do and so this damn it there we go there we go um, I finally got the opportunity to, to find my footing and to to, to, to in some way or another make my mark I don't know does that make any sense am I making any sense whatsoever or am I just rambling on this is am I getting ADD on you probably so I do that a lot okay Ugh. let's see where to next all right so that pretty much clears out the airport I do believe Oh, what's that over there behind the plane? Anything good? Or did I already look at that? Oh, that's just tape. Okay, so let's head out into that parking lot. Let's kill off any zombies we might have missed out there. Let's steal that car. And let's start going towards our next area. And where is our next area? The next area should be the Saurus Campground. So we'll go down and we'll do the Saurus Campground next, and then we'll do Corton Isle. And um, I'm probably going to have to call it quits on the first episode, oops, excuse me, after the Saurus Campground, 
and then pick up on Court and Isle on the next episode because I am using the um, free version of Bandicam right now which limits me to 10 minutes of recording time. What do we got? Police vest. Don't I have one of those on? Yeah, I do. Okay, don't need that. Um, when that limits me to 10 minutes of recording time and... Ooh, what is that? That's an ace. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Never hurts to have a backup weapon. Let's go ahead and arm that up. Okay, that's armed up in the second slot. What did I just drop? Did I just drop something? I hope not. Okay. Anyways. Um, let's go over here and shoot this crawler. And I forgot what I was saying again. Now see? The ADD. I hate it. <clears throat> but it's... Oh my god, he just did a barrel roll. That's cool. Ah, that's awesome. Barrel roll zombie. That's great. Um, yeah, okay, that's what I was saying. Um, and so I've already done two 10-minute sessions, which means I am pushing a half an hour on this video, and I honestly think that more than half an hour episodes would be way too much, so when we get to the end of the recording limit on this one, we're going to go ahead and call it quits, and then we'll pick up where we left off in the next episode. So, um, and here we are at the Saurus campground. We're going to pull in over here. I don't know if we're going to be able to find a gas can down here. Doesn't really matter. There might be something else worth stealing. Maybe another vehicle. Oh, there's an ATV, which I would rather have an ATV than a pickup truck anyway. So let's go ahead and climb out of the truck. Let's arm up this pistol. Let's go ahead and reload. Just to make sure, because I know me well enough to know that I don't always keep a good eye on my weapons and ammo. And if I don't keep a good eye on my weapons and ammo, I am going to get myself in a pickle and get killed. <coughs> And they're all coming. This could get bad. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, I walked through them pretty well. Nice. I am half-ass impressed with myself. What we got there? A campfire. I don't think I'm going to need a campfire, but I will go ahead and pick that up. And for those of you who haven't played the game, I will show you how to, the campfire works. So, you go into your G, which will bring you into your inventory. And then you empty out a space for I don't even know if i got to empty out a space for it. I might just be able to put it straight into my hand. Yep, you just put that campfire in your hand, and it'll show up green. So, wherever you want to put the campfire... Um, if you can place it there, it'll be green, and if you can't place it there, it will be red. Just like that. So you figure out where you want to place your campfire. Like, let's say, over here between these picnic tables. And then you just hit the left mouse button. Boom! And you've got a campfire. Which I think is pretty cool. What do we got in here? Uh, show field. Not a great rifle, but I will go ahead and pick it up, and I will use it, possibly. And then if you want to salvage your campfire, um, to extinguish it, you hit F, and to salvage it you hold F and then you can pick it back up and since I don't need it I'm going to go ahead and drop it there we go and now I'm going to go into here I'm going to put this pistol up here I'm going to figure out where I just put that rifle 
and if I am not mistaken, the show field is one of those rifles where you have to rechamber the round after every shot, and you cannot reload or rechamber when you're in iron sight. So you got to squeeze off a shot, then go out of iron sight and rechamber, and then go back into iron sight. <clears throat> Just like that. There we go. Not too bad. The show field's really not too bad. It's just that getting used to rechambering the round every time. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, stuff that I can make first aid things out of. So let's pick that up. Let's pick up the fishing top. Let's pick that up. Let's pick that up. Uh, is there anything in the Nope. Okay. Good to go. And let's go check out these tents. And then check out that other cabin. What we got in here? That's a Hawkhound magazine. I don't have a Hawkhound. I got a Showfield. Uh, fishing bottoms. See anything I want here yet? Missing space, which means I gotta craft some stuff down. So let's go into crafting and let's craft down that poncho and that shirt and that shirt and those tops and those bottoms. Then go into the support and craft those down into rags and bandages and hopefully some dressings. There we go. Okay, got the inventory worked out a little bit better. Pick up the hoodie, and that, and that. And I am not sure um, whether or not the hoodie has more space than the police top or not. So let's grab that hoodie. Let's look at how much space the police top has. Let's drop the hoodie into it, and nope, the police top has more space. So let's go, where'd the police top go? It went there. So let's put that police top back on. And let's pick this back up. Oh, okay, I see. Now I can pick that back up. All right, and we're going to go ahead and call it good. I'll finish doing this and fixing my inventory. When we come back the next time, uh, we'll continue on our quest. So if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Tell your friends and family to hit the like button and subscribe. Feel free to drop me a comment. All comments are always welcome, good, bad, or somewhere in between. Make sure to check the links in the description below and go to the Wounded Warriors Project and the Disabled American Veterans. Um, please help support our veterans. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for tuning in to my very first ever Bad Hippie YouTube video. I'm kind of liking the start we're getting. Um, and until next time, this is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson saying peace, love, clean underwear, and happy gaming.